All right. When it comes to software, there are different ways we can categorize them. One way is application versus utility. Starting with application software, this is software we use in our everyday lives to get day-to-day -day tasks done. Examples range from word processes and spreadsheets to video games and social media applications. The other type of software is utility software. This is used to help manage or monitor our computer. Most utility software comes pre-installed on your computer. This video will be focusing on application software. There is a wide variety of application software. We're going to start off with word processing software. Word processing software allows you to create documents such as letters or reports. Examples include Word, Google Docs, Pages and Writer. Before we carry on, you must remember that in exams, you are not allowed to write brand names, which means when you are asked to list software, you do not say the name of the software, you say the name of the type of software. So, as an example, instead of saying Google Docs or Word, you say Word Processing Software. Desktop Publishing Software is software that allows you to create posters, graphics, animations, and other publications. Examples include Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, and many more. Database management software allows you to create databases. Examples include Access and Base. Spreadsheet software allows you to record and analyze data in the form of a spreadsheet. Examples include Sheets, Numbers, Calc and Excel. Email software allows you to send emails to other people. Examples include Apple Mail, Outlook and Gmail. Internet browsers allow you to access the internet. Examples include Chrome, Safari, Edge, and Firefox. Sound or voice editing software is used to record and edit sound files. Examples include Audacity, Logic Pro, FL Studio, and Adobe Audition. There are other ways of breaking down or categorizing software. Another way is with off-the-shelf and custom software. Off-the-shelf software is software designed to be sold in shops to the public. Custom software is designed exclusively for one person or company in order to suit their needs. These types come with advantages and disadvantages. Off-the-shelf is cheaper, quicker to get hold of, and if you need help, there are hundreds of online tutorials as well as sometimes customer support available. However, custom software is more suited to your needs as it is made specifically for you. There is also the likelihood that custom software can be more secure as it is not known by members of the public. Another way we can categorize software is through open source and proprietary. Open source software is software that allows users or members of the public to freely access the code. This way, anyone can change the software and make further improvements. Proprietary software is also known as closed source software. The software code is locked from the user, so it cannot be edited. And that is everything you need to know about application software.